Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. Operators around the world are beginning to deploy open RAN and cloud native architectures in their networks and seeking high capacity platforms to satisfy the needs of their customers. Rakuten Symphony and Qualcomm Technologies have announced a new solution that will improve coverage and capacity, as well as enable enhanced speed in the rollout of 5G networks with high performance ORAN compliant infrastructure products. Well, joining me now to explain more are Tarek Amin, who is CEO of Rakuten Symphony and CTO of Rakuten Mobile, and Durga Maladi, who is Senior Vice President and General Manager, 5G Mobile Broadband and Infrastructure for Qualcomm Technologies. Well, hello to both of you. Thanks very much for taking part in our discussion today. Tarek, if I could ask you first, what exactly are Rakuten Symphony and Qualcomm Technologies announcing? Well, glad to be with you uh, today. You know, to understand the context of our announcement, I think allow me just to give a little bit of background about our deep partnership with Qualcomm over the last three years. It is no doubt that our journey and our dream started in 2018 with launching Rocket and Mobile on the foundation and premise of open RAN architecture, cloud architecture, automation into the DNA of everything that we do. I believe we have delivered on this promise. What many people don't realize, as of October, we have hit over 200,000 cells that are completely disaggregated, following open RAN architecture for 4G and 5G. And we've learned a lot. We've learned quite a bit about what we like in open RAN platforms, areas we would like to improve, opportunities to advance in terms of power efficiency, capacity. Today, announcement with Qualcomm really starts from fundamental foundation to look at the journey of disaggregation of hardware and software. Looking at a fundamental platform of how we disrupt the key products in 5G, especially around massive MIMO and distributed unit for uh, both 4G and 5G. In massive MIMO architecture, we think this is the fundamental foundation of what 5G will stand on. It's a key technology differentiator and an architecture that will allow to deliver just unparalleled experience to our consumers um, and enterprises across the world as we start to deploy these products into the marketplace. It's in massive MIMO, we wanted products that have unbelievable envelope for power efficiency. It is very important for us to evaluate and look for solutions that are absolutely sustainable in terms of their energy consumption, solution that delivers on capacity demand that 5G is realizing today in the marketplace, and solution that absolutely are future-proof in its DNA and its architecture. So I am glad to announce today that Rocket and Symphony and Qualcomm has agreed to enable the disruption on 5G journey through partnership on the cell site modem technology and the infrastructure technology that Qualcomm is providing, where we're gonna co-develop and co-build one of the most advanced massive MIMO architecture, I believe, that the world has seen in 64T, 64R configuration, delivering in just enormous capacity at the right cost structure, completely uh, following open RAN standards, open RAN architecture to serve not just only Racket and Mobile, but to serve the rest of the world as we look to expand our portfolio in Racket and Symphony. I could not be more delighted about this announcement. And our partnership and heritage with Qualcomm, of course, did not just start with, with this uh, announcement today. We have deep partnership that started from the early days on how we build the architecture of Racket and Mobile from 2018 onward. And Durga, why is it important? What does this announcement mean for the industry? First of all, thanks for having me here. It's always a pleasure. The uh, uh, announcement must be taken in the full context of uh, how we started this journey together uh, with Rakuten. And uh, uh, starting from the beginning of their 5G launch and our uh, infrastructure portfolio as a part of uh, their network, through our 5G millimeter wave small cells. In late 2020, we made 
uh, an announcement of entering the 5G macro cell infrastructure products and specifically looking at the radio units, uh, which is uh, uh, what goes on the tower and uh, the uh, DU or the distributed unit, the modem RF solutions that power the distributed unit, which are uh, increasingly going to be located in data centers as opposed to a digital cabinet at the bottom of the tower. These products are completely ORAN compliant and they are specifically designed to be high performance, uh, highly energy efficient. So power consumption is going to be key and high capacity radios. And these actually, from our perspective, are the foundation for the entire ORAN based evolving upcoming network architecture, which is based upon open interfaces between different elements of the network. We provide certain elements of the network in the radio and in the VDU, the baseband and the RF and the transceivers. And the rest of the protocol stack is written on top of it. From that perspective, uh, what's uh, important in this announcement is that we have taken our partnership with uh, uh, with Rakuten as a part of us being involved in, in their network from small cells into macro cells. We are talking of high power, massive MIMO radios, which actually provide the capacity and coverage that is needed in the mid-band deployments uh, globally. Uh, the second part is uh, the uh, VDU, which is uh, a, a PCIe accelerator card, which can simply be plugged in to any of the servers uh, that are typically located in data centers. And that allows us to do the processing of everything in the infrastructure inside the data center, in addition to doing all the other edge computing and edge processing that would be needed to enable new use cases of 5G. Bottom line, as we enter the third year of 5G, or actually we are beginning to enter the fourth year of 5G deployments, we are beginning to see a gradual shift of networks from a more traditional vertical architecture to a far more distributed architecture, which allows for the networks to scale up and down from nationwide networks to citywide networks, all the way down to private networks into manufacturing plants and enterprises and whatnot. From that perspective, our product portfolio announcement uh, back in 2020 together with today's announcement with, uh, with Rakuten is a culmination of a long journey uh, that we have taken as Qualcomm and uh, in conjunction with, uh, with Rakuten as a part of their network. Thanks, Durga. Tarek, who are you targeting from a customer perspective and, and what benefits can the products bring to operators? Well, first, I think, um, you know, my, my first proving pudding for all of this, it's always started with my living lab. My living lab is Rocket and Mobile. We needed to go and validate this technology. But we are quickly now, you know, targeting global customer base. As many of you know now, Rocket and Symphony have done amazing partnership and collaboration with global uh, um, uh, providers in Europe and Asia and Middle East. And we are targeting um, the service provider segment as an initial marketing opportunity for Racket and Symphony. We are looking forward for um, um, it really demonstrating the capability and the advancements that Qualcomm and Racket and Symphony will build together. And my belief, this is my opinion in terms of cost, performance, efficiency, in every metric an operator would evaluate would be a world-class product and its capability at the right cost target. So our market opportunity is massive. We are looking for global market uh, size that are really, really significant. And the service provider segment across the world is the initial target for us um, um, you know, to promote market, uh, deliver such a disruptive product in the marketplace. Thanks, Tarek. Finally, Durga, what is special about this announcement? How are the products unique? So in this announcement, we had two different uh, product categories. Uh, the first one is uh, the uh, massive MIMO, uh, high power, high performance, and highly energy efficient uh, radios, uh, which provide the capacity and the coverage needs of mid bands that have been deployed uh, globally. And we have specifically made sure that uh, all the bands that are used in different parts of the world, what have already been deployed and in future are a part of this product portfolio. The second part of the product is uh, is a is an accelerator card where all the brace band processing is done, 
And this is a, a different kind of an accelerator card. It's an inline accelerator card. And what that means is that all the baseband processing is done within the card itself. And one takes the card and then plugs it into any of uh, the servers uh, in a data center using a PCIe interface. The combination of these two uh, products, along with the fact that we provide uh, full-fledged commercial layer one software, allows for our customers to build a protocol stack, the layer two and layer three protocol stack, and provide services on top of it. From this standpoint, we believe that this allows us to accelerate the eventual ORAN commercial deployments globally. And with that, we have to draw our discussion to a close. Durga and Tarek, thank you both very much for joining us and sharing the news on your Open RAN collaboration. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.